Hey everyone, in this module we're going to be talking about fractions, decimals, percentages, and converting. So the first thing we're going to talk about is fractions. So this expresses a ratio. So the two parts of a fraction are the numerator and the denominator. The denominator is always on the bottom and the numerator is on top. The value of a fraction is found by dividing that number, the numerator, by the bottom number, the denominator. A fraction is a number that is expressed as one integer written above another integer with a dividing line between them. It represents the quotient of two numbers, so x divided by y. It can also be thought out as x out of y equal parts. So really all that's saying is that it represents 1 divided by 2. So this would be 1 half, right? Because 1 out of 2 is 1 half. So I'm just going to find a place for myself. So fractions can be manipulated without changing the value of the fraction by multiplying or dividing, but not by adding or subtracting. Both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So for example, 1 fifth is, so this is showing us converting, but let's just say we are going to manipulate the fraction 1 fifth. If we multiply 1 fifth by 5, both the numerator and the denominator, that will be 5 over 25, which is the exact same as 1 fifth, because 5 out of every 25 is 1 fifth. If you divide both numbers by a common factor, you're reducing or simplifying the fraction. So let's say you do out a problem and you get the answer of 5 over 25. You can reduce that to 1 fifth, which would be simplifying that fraction. And two fractions that have the same value but are expressed differently are known as equivalent fractions. So that's what we just talked about. 5 over 25 is the same as 1 over 5. Also, if we're looking at like what is one-fifth so you can see here's a circle we have one-fifth of the circle here is a square one-fifth of the square one-fifth is equal to 0 0.2 as a decimal which we're going to go over later one-fifth is also the same as 20 percent and you can figure that out because 5 goes into 120 times. So we're going to go over how to do this. Yes, we'll go over how to do this in the future. So 1 fifth would be 1 of 5 fish and 1 fifth of an inch would be right here. So these are all things that are equal to 1 fifth. So proper fractions and mixed numbers. So a fraction whose denominator is greater than its numerator is known as a proper fraction. So 3 fourths is equal to what is shaded in this circle, and that's a proper fraction because it's three out of the four, it's showing a fraction. Now fractions whose numbers is greater than its denominator is known as an improper fraction. So for example, nine fourths, that's gonna be an improper fraction because there's some whole numbers there, right? Four goes into nine twice, and we can see that shown in this picture. So 9 fourths would be equal to 2 and 1 fourth. So that's an improper fraction. It's, it's not actually a fraction. It's a whole number plus fractions. So that's improper fraction. And a mixed number is a number that contains both an integer and a fraction. So 5 and 2 thirds is going to be a mixed number because it has some whole numbers and it has a fraction. So just think it's mixed. So now let's talk about decimals. So decimals, digits to the left of the decimal point show values greater than one. So if we have a decimal point, anything to the left, these are going to be larger than one. Anything that is on the right of a decimal point is smaller than one. And the decimal separates the ones place from the tenths place. So it's very kind of easy to remember because you have your ones, your tens, your hundreds, and then just remember after the decimal point, you start at tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So, okay. So you may see questions that are like round to the nearest tenths 
that would be this place, not this place. I know you might think like ones, tens, so it would be second, but it's not, it's first. Did you remember after the decimal point comes the tenths place? Okay. So the decimal 0 0.57 is 57 hundredths. Hundredths is a, a weird thing to say, but let's remember what a hundredths is. It's this spot, right? Because we have our tenths and our hundredths. So a model is to draw a hundred squares and since each box is worth one hundredth, so 0 0.1, then all the boxes equal one. So if we draw a hundred squares then shade 57, it will represent the decimal 57 hundredths. So each one of these little box is going to equal 0 0.01, which is one hundredths. And all of these squares equal one or a hundred. So this is like a hundred percent. This would be one whole, right? Because this is 0 0.01. This whole thing would be one. Now we have 57 hundredths. So we have 57 boxes. And you can see these are all shaded and filled to represent the decimal 0 0.57. So to write the decimal as a fraction, the number of shaded spaces we know is 57 out of 100, right? So there is our fraction. So if we were going to write a fraction from a decimal, we can think that 100, 0 0.1 hundredths, is 1. And we know we have 0.57, so 57 boxes are filled. And that's going to give us the fraction of 57 over 100. If, so this is kind of a nice way to see it as a picture with like boxes. But another easy way to do it is just to know 1.0 is 100%. So if we're looking at a decimal, it's telling us what that decimal place is out of the 100%. So if this was 0 0.20, we know that that's going to be 20% because we're going to we're going to know that 1.00 is 100%. So 0 0.2 would be 20% and 0 0.57 would be 57%. This is a way to remember how to convert those numbers. But we'll go over this some more. So percentages can be thought of as fractions that are based on a whole of 100. That is, the whole number is equal to 100%. Percent means per 100. A percentage is a ratio that compares a quantity to 100. So 3% means 3 out of 100. 15% means 15 out of 100. And 23.5% means 23.5 out of 100. And fractions can be expressed as a percentage by finding equivalent fractions with a denominator of 100. To express a percentage as a fraction, divide the percentage number by 100 and reduce the fraction to its simple possible terms. So we can see over here 30%. This is 30% of this whole circle, which would be 100. 60% is 60% of this whole circle. That would be 100. And 90% is this almost the full circle, but the full circle would be 100. So we can think of these 30 out of 100, 60 out of 100, and 90 out of 100. And again, if we wanted to convert these to a fraction, we would take 30 over 100. That would be our answer. And then we could reduce it. So, you know, 2 goes into 30 15 times, it goes into 150 times, so we get 15 over 50. However, 5 can still go into both of those things, so 5 goes into 15 3 times, 5 goes into 50 10 times, so this actually reduced is 3 over 10. And we can do the same for the rest of these. So 60 over 100, we can reduce that to 6 over 10, but that can be further reduced by... Two, so that's going to be three fifths. Yes. And then 90 over 100, we can reduce to nine tenths. And those would be those answers in fraction. All right. So converting. 
So anything that's less than 1, so if we convert 0 0.48 to a fraction, first we're going to put 0 0.48 over 1, and then we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 100. So this is going to give us 48 over 100. Then we're going to simplify by identifying the largest number that can go into both the numerator and the denominator. So for this example, we can use 4. So 48 over 4 is going to equal 12, and 100 over 4 is going to equal 25. So the answer is going to be 12 over 25. And that would be the way that we convert 0 0.48 to a fraction. And if you wanted to convert a decimal to a percentage, all you have to do is move the decimal point over to and throw a percentage sign on there. Now, if we are going to convert a number that is greater than one, if we wanna convert a decimal to a fraction, say we want to convert 3.48 to a fraction. So first we need to move the decimal point to the right to create a whole number. If you're working with fractions, you want those numbers to be a whole number. And remember that you can multiply or divide percentages, I mean fractions, as long as you multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So we're gonna create a whole number, 348, then make the denominator one and add the number of zeros for the places the decimal point moved. So we went from 3.48 to 348. So that's gonna jump over one, two. So now we have to add two zeros. So we're gonna have 348 over 100, which can be reduced to 87 over 25. And you can see that's because 87 times four is 348 and 25 times four is 100. So now if we want to convert a decimal to a percentage, we're gonna multiply the decimal by 100 by moving the decimal point two places to the right. So for example, if we have 0 0.64, that will convert to 64%. So like I said, all you have to do if you want to convert a decimal to a percentage is move that decimal place over two and throw a percentage on there. And now we can see this percent conversion summary as well. So if you have a percent and you want to go to a fraction, you put it over 100, you remove the percent sign, and then you simplify. If you want to go from a fraction to a percent, you are going to take the fraction, multiply it by 100, and then divide by 1 and simplify, and add a percentage sign. If you want to go from a percent to a decimal, you will divide the percentage by 100 and move the decimal place, or you can just move the decimal place two to the left and then add any zeros if you have to fill in gaps. And to go from a decimal to a percentage, you will just multiply the decimal point by 100, or you can move the decimal place over two to the right. So remember we did that over here, you just move it over two to the right. Um, so say this was 0.6, and you move it two to the right, you would need to add a zero there, right? So that's what it means by filling in the gaps with zeros. And you're gonna add a percentage sign. So let's talk about converting. So that's pretty much what we were just covering, but this is a nice little chart. So a ratio would be five out of 100. The fraction for that would be one over 20. The decimal would be 0 0.05, and the percentage would be 5%. And sort of the same with these. So 48 out of 100 would go to a fraction of 48 over 100, but that can be reduced to 12 over 25. The decimal would be 0 0.48, and the percentage would be 48%. Same thing, 75 out of 100 is 3 fourths, because it would be 75 over 100, but you can reduce by dividing by 25, both the numerator and the denominator, to get 3 fourths. 75 over 100 is gonna be 0 0.75 as a decimal, and it's gonna be 75%, and 90 out of 100 is going to be 9 tenths, or 0 0.9 as a decimal, or 90% as a percentage. So make sure to do the worksheets and check it with the answer key, and I will see you guys in the next module. Bye.